hi guys how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine guys i'm not fine yet <laughs> you can hear it from my voice i've got flu actually i had wanted to come here with a story time but due to this <laughs> i can't guys <laughs> so as i was planning not to come here something kept on pushing me that i should come here and talk to you guys yes guys that is why i am here so today we're gonna have a very good talk concerning online dating concerning a life guys don't ignore this video just sit down with a glass of wine a glass of water and enjoy this because i know after this video you are going to be inspired you are going to be encouraged you know to keep on pushing so that you can achieve your goals or achieve whatever you want to achieve in life if it is maybe to find true love or online dating apps if it is maybe find a job you know some of you maybe don't have a job right now and you're here watching me so this will be a very powerful video i'm gonna be talking to you as a friend a sister who really loves you so so much that is why i'm sick and i'm here talking to you guys so without wasting much of your time let me jump into what we're going to be talking about today so guys to you all that have been on online dating apps searching for love but still it's not happening you have been there for years trying everything some of you have come to me we have worked on your profiles but still nothing is happening and right now you are at the point like maybe it will never happen maybe i will never ever find love and sometimes you sit down and be like maybe those who found love on online dating apps they've got some kind of a special life background that is why they succeeded and when you look at you as you're like no with my life background i think even it's why i'm not finding anyone on online dating apps and i've tried even in real life but it's not happening i think i should give up on this then some of you who have been watching me sometimes i see you on instagram coming you write me some dms be like bella you're so blessed i agree with you guys i'm really really blessed and some of you be like bella i really want to find true love just like you and i think you are very very lucky guys is it true that i have been always lucky in finding love in my life you're gonna be finding out today and guys if you have been following me watching me for so long you know already that i deal with ladies majority yes these days i coach men too but majority of people that i interact with every single day are ladies and these ladies have got different levels in life when we talk of the career you know some ladies are doctors advocates engineers business women pilots police officers but at the same time i deal with ladies that work as housemaids i deal with ladies that never even went to school i deal with ladies that don't even have a job they are trying to look for a job as i'm talking right now so the story that i am about to share with you i know there are some ladies that might have lived same same life and right now they are like no maybe i won't be able to find true love blaming the past or the life background or maybe right now they are still living the same life and saying that due to the life that i'm living right now i won't be able to find love because i know this channel is being watched by people of all levels yes guys so you has been like bella you are really really lucky let's find out if i was really really lucky in life in my love life to start with this is to inspire you you who is about to give up on online dating apps you who is about to give up on the love life 
So guys, I know you might have noticed that whenever I talk about single mothers, I be like, guys, I really understand how it feels like to be a single mother. And I told you one time that there is someone very close to me that I know was a single mother. So today I'm here to tell you that that person that I know very close to me who was a single mother is my own mother. Yes, my mother was a single mother and that's why all the time when I talk about single mothers, I be like, I adore you. May God bless you. May God keep on giving you the strength to keep on being good mothers to your kids. Because guys, I saw how my mother struggled to take care of us. <laughs> and one time I was laughing a lot, telling you guys that whenever you come with your case and you're like, Bella, I'm going through this. And some of you guys, you cry, you know, we cry together. I tell you, I totally understand. You be like, how comes Bella has lived every life, every experience? <laughs> it's very true, guys, cause my childhood wasn't easy i wasn't bella that you see today yes guys i've lived a very poor life yes but what i thank god from that and i thank my mother i never slept hungry i don't remember sleeping hungry but i've lived a very poor life walking barefoot Yes, guys, I remember having only one pair of slippers, you know, and that one pair of slippers was only to go to church on Sunday. But to school, I could go barefooted. I can remember very well sleeping on a grass mattress. I don't know if there is anyone who has ever slept on a grass mattress, but yes, I've slept on a grass mattress for lots of years yes because i lost my mother when i was eight years old and that's when i had to go to my father's side in tanzania fetching firewood in the forest yes i have done that fetching water from the well put it on the head you know walk a long distance till home yes i have done all that i've passed through all that and you know what guys i am not ashamed of living that life or ashamed of sharing this with you not at all because it has made me a strong woman that i am today it made me grow so fast yes and talking of growing guys this saturday is gonna be my birthday <laughs> I can't wait guys. I'm super super excited. <laughs> if you want to send any gift, don't worry, just send it. I'm not allergic to gifts. <laughs> so yes guys, back to the point guys. I am in my 30s but due to the life experience I have lived, it has made me grow mature. The kind of maturity I have is like of someone who is in her 50s. Yeah, due to my life background. And I shared with you, even in Tanzania, life wasn't all that easy after losing my dad. Because I first lost my mom when I was 80 years, then I got to know my dad for only two and a half years then i lost him too it wasn't easy but i also thank god that my late aunt was there you know to take care of us so it wasn't easy looking back then of the life that i lived and if someone could have asked me in those days that I could be where I am today, I could have said no. But do you know why I am here, guys? It's because of God. And that's why I've been telling you always pray. God is the answer. No matter what challenges, no matter what is your life background, what you went through as a kid, or what you're going through right now, you are not going to suffer forever. You are not going to search for love forever. Eventually, 
you are going to find him so i've told you i used to walk barefooted but right now you know what god is good right now i'm not walking barefooted no god is good these are kind of shoes that i wear and many many other more pairs that i can't show you now i know someone who has lived you know a very easy life you know putting on shoes is something normal <laughs> never walked barefooted <laughs> it's gonna be something like you know it's normal but if really you ever walked barefooted this pair of shoes this one this one guys means a lot a lot a lot that's why i'm always appreciative and i always tell you guys be appreciative no matter the thing is small i think now you know where i'm coming from <laughs> so yes guys at some point my life was not easy at all i remember finding a job everything was going very very well and you know a new boss came then started harassing me saying, you know i had to leave that job i found another job i started working everything was good and one day i woke up lost my job i can still remember telling you that at one time i was selling secondhand clothes you know working on the streets looking for clients yes i've done that but not only selling secondhand clothes <laughs> i fought because guys i am a fighter yes i've always been a fighter i'm not someone who would just sit down and cry no and if you're watching me i don't want you to be a lady who always sit down and cry i say that things are not happening life is very difficult no you have to fight so i fought without anyone's help like maybe from a guy nothing like that guys my own money growing my small business that second hand clothes business and i was able to open a shop yes i opened the shop also remember opening a hair salon yes guys that's bella so i kept on you know doing business you know they fired me that's okay but that does not stop me i kept moving forward at the same time you know also applying for jobs and eventually i found a job and i started working very little time that's when my friend told me about my husband now so you see guys it was not easy you see bella here smiling laughing stylish <laughs> and be like oh wow she's so lucky to be where she is guys there is a very long story behind it today i just decided to give you a very a bit of it you know to encourage you that no matter what you are going through, no matter what you have been through, you will eventually be happy. You will find love. It can be on online dating apps and maybe it can be in real life. But what you need to do is not giving up. Don't give up, guys. It is something that is very easy to be done. <laughs> but if you give up, before you find that true love that you are searching for you are going to be a loser but if you stayed you could have found the one because it doesn't matter how long you have been on online dating apps it's god that knows when exactly you are going to find the one you just need to calm down guys there is no need to be in a hurry there is no need to be desperate if you are desperate to an extent you're like you know a burning charcoal today i want a power cold water on it so that you can calm down because you calming down that's a secret for you to succeed yes dear beautiful ladies i'm telling you it's easy to quit very very easy because yes you see me here doing videos but sometimes there's some challenges we face you know as content creators as a youtuber as a human being and you'll be like i can just decide to delete this channel and live my life yeah because it's easy guys <laughs> 
quitting is very very easy but whenever i think of doing that i remember you guys that it has been two years me sharing online dating videos you know <laughs> finding a white guy interracial dating i know my channel has helped lots of ladies find love and it is still helping lots of ladies so if i quit that means the ladies that i could have helped won't be helped and that keeps me going yes <laughs> i'm just telling you how it is easy to quit but why quit guys why quit whereby i know you can find love online it's not that i'm here to tell you stories or just for the views no i know it works i just need you guys to have that spirit of keeping on searching but while you searching keep doing other things keep building your future because it is very very important don't just stop and be like i am going to only search <laughs> no keep living your life if you're working keep working you know <laughs> make your boss happy if your own boss then keep looking for the ways to improve or to expand your business if you don't have a job dear sister keep applying for jobs yes while you keep on searching <laughs> let me hope you understand me guys because i told you guys before being introduced to my husband i was on online dating apps searching for love but due to my life background how i have been always a fighter nothing has ever stopped me yes i was searching yes but i was still building my future yes i didn't just be like i'm going to search for love online so that i can find a guy who will support me financially so that i can find a guy who will pay for my rent who will send me money for the upkeep no i've never been such kind of a lady and that's why for me yes i faced lots of challenges on online dating apps i've made lots of mistakes when it comes to love yes i was a total mumu <laughs> <laughs> you know guys when you don't have enough experience yes i've been there guys i've been there but what really makes me super angry is seeing you guys taking as if online dating apps is the only thing that you have in life it's the only thing you need to be happy about it makes me really angry it makes me really feel very very sad yes i know loneliness is not good i've been there i've been lonely <laughs> you know sometimes you go to bed and you don't get sleep because you are lonely you think and think and think and think but i never got depressed seriously i've never <laughs> because i was always hopeful that it will happen a day i will find the one and look guys god works in mysterious ways i eventually got to know my husband and right now i'm married very happily living comfortably not a rich life but a very happy comfortable decent life so me bella who has been through all of the things that I've told you and even the worst that I haven't even brought here, but I was able to find love. Why not you, my sister? Why not you? Don't bring excuses because I know you guys. <laughs> how you always come with your excuses. Maybe Bella, it's my village people. They're after me. <laughs> Bella, or maybe because white guys like ugly ladies. <laughs> Some be like, maybe Bella, because white guys like slim ladies. I am a plus size. Bella, maybe they're looking for educated women, whereby I've got very educated ladies in here 
watching me and they are still single women with properties guys <laughs> you know yeah and they are still single bella i think i'm the only one that is chatting with players that is chatting with time wasters that is chatting with guys that ghosts me guys i've done lots of videos about my love life i think if you have watched those you understand but if you did not watch those videos go watch them i went through a lot men ghosting me ha <laughs> guys i got ghosted <laughs> You know, you find a guy, the guy is very cute. Even friends are telling you that they know the guy for years. He's not a guy. But he's going to play with your feelings. But you know what? He plays with my feelings. He ghosts me. <laughs> oh my God. I've gone through it all, guys. Dating a guy and a guy looks for you whenever he feels like he wants the goodies, you know. He becomes sweet, kind, the most beautiful lady in the world. <laughs> and then after the goodies, nowhere to be seen. No any message you'll get from this guy. <laughs> I told you guys, I was a mumu. <laughs> <laughs> but you know as you keep on growing you keep on also gaining experience come to understand that a guy who looks for you a guy who becomes sweet when he wants the goodies he will never ever marry you he's not a serious guy he is with you because he knows he gets the goodies from you that's it <laughs> you know <laughs> And also, because I told you, I chat with lots of ladies, guys. Lots of, I've got lots of stories from these ladies that are on online dating apps searching. Ladies that I'm working with personally, you know, what they are going through. There are some days I wake up, I'm very happy, but my mood changes due to the messages I receive. From these ladies, you receive a message early in the morning, a lady crying like a baby, telling you her challenges, telling you how she feels very, very lonely, telling you how guys are ghosting her, telling you how she felt like this time has found the one, but a guy turns out to be a player or a guy ghosts her for no reason so you are not alone you need to keep praying to god pray for your time to come god's time is the best guys trust me there is a story i brought here i don't know if you still remember this lady went through a lot too and also was abandoned with a very little child this lady used to cry there were some times this lady that i'm talking about didn't have even food to feed her child and i could tell her do not worry keep searching one day god is going to bring a guy who will accept you with your kid and also take care of you so don't worry keep fighting you know for your life keep fighting for your kid she listened to me kept on fighting for her life kept on searching and as i'm talking right now <laughs> if you see her on instagram you're gonna be shocked yeah <laughs> she's eating life you know <laughs> yes last time was telling me bella you can't believe <laughs> my boy now is dressing up in designer clothes you know that my husband is buying for him i can't really believe it and we were talking i was comforting her this was last year around september august there <laughs> how life can change god is good guys i don't know what else to tell you because the stories themselves that i share every time here can show you that it is possible to find love i don't know why would you give up feeling like give up it's okay you know we are human feeling tired it's okay but being like i have given up 
I don't know why you should reach a point of giving up. I told you, if you want to take a break, take a break, then come back again. I've been sharing online dating videos two years, I repeat. And I'm someone who is very realistic. If I knew deep inside my heart that you can't find love on online dating apps, I couldn't have wasted my two years making videos. No, 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 no. I can't waste my time on something that I know it does not work. Yeah, I'm that kind of a person. So the fact that I am still here bringing you online dating success love stories, encouraging you, putting myself out there, you know, me sharing with you my personal photos with you to encourage you. It really means a lot to me. You guys really mean a lot to me. And I really wish you all the best so that you can find your happiness, guys. That's all that I'm wishing for you. So dear beautiful ladies, you have been on online dating apps, you haven't found anyone and you're like, oh my God, maybe those who find love on online dating apps, they use juju. <laughs> Some excuses are really, really funny, but leave the excuses out, guys. Leave them out. Do the right thing. I know not all of you can work with me, can pay for the membership, but the videos that I have posted in here, if you watch them very, very well, implement all those tips, you know, on your online dating search, you will eventually find the one. Those who are capable of paying for the guidance, then you come, we start working together and everything is okay, but still you haven't found the one. You shouldn't start like hating me because <laughs> I know there is a very thin line between love and hate. A lady who was like, Bill, I love you so much. Oh my God. <laughs> can easily turn against you. Yeah, but I'm telling you, as a sister who loves you genuinely, who is here really to help you, don't give up. If we have worked on your profile, keep waiting for God's time. Yes. Keep sending those messages. Keep sending those likes. Whenever you want to know Bella, which app can we try? Come and we try it out, but never allow excuses block you or make you give up. Cause some of you be like, I don't know. I don't know what I am doing wrong. Whereby I'm seeing that everything you're doing is right. Yes. You just keep on waiting on God guys. Cause God has got a plan for everyone. He knows when exactly that right guy will come. So no matter you stress yourself, no matter you go into a depression, because yes, I've got ladies that are going through a depression right now due to online dating, which is really, really sad. Yes, guys. So no matter you do all that, it will not help you. Just calm down take your time and do like i advised you eventually you will find the one so for today i'm done with those that are on online dating apps searching for love but i want to talk to the other category of ladies that i think are being misled or they are taking a wrong route i'm here to talk to you as a sister i repeat and the ladies or the category I'm talking about are you, my beautiful ladies, that are working in UAE. Yes, you guys are so vulnerable. I've been observing this for so long. Lots of people have been taking an advantage of you. And you see, even on online dating apps, you guys are a very big target to scammers. Yes, they want to scam you because they know you work. So they want to take your money that you are working hard for. I know what you go through. I understand. And I totally understand that this is not my area of the videos that I make here on YouTube. I'm here to help a sister out. So I've come across lots, lots of stories of you guys that work in UAE as housemaids 
people lying to you, promising you that they are going to help you go to Europe, you know, work in Europe. It is better there. Find a very good job. Some of you tell you they're going to help you maybe go to Canada, find a job there, go to Australia, and they give you a fee to pay. Sometimes it's really a lot of money and because you are so desperate, you want to get out of where you are, you give in all your savings. And then in the end, it turns out that it was all scam. They have scammed your money. Yes, this is very, very wrong. Guys, stop it. Please, please, before you give in your money, get to understand whom you are dealing with. If it is a company, get to first research very, very well about that company. And don't tell me you won't find out. You will find out. The problem is you start looking for information after being scammed which is wrong because it won't help you, you know, <laughs> they've taken your money already. So if you want to change your life, maybe you want to go work in Germany, you want to go work in Poland, please check out trusted recruiting companies. Don't just go and start talking with individuals on Facebook. They start telling you stories and you believe it. You give in your money. It is so, so wrong. Let us stop being lazy. Yes. If you use internet very well, I talked about this and I'm repeating again, it will really help you get what you want. Yes. So go on Google, go on the internet and then do enough research. If you know they are really, really the trusted ones, then go ahead and apply. Get to give in your money, the fee they are going to tell you. But doing things, you know, just like that, it makes me sad, guys. You're working so hard for your money. Don't just give it out like that. I remember there is a story I watched here on YouTube. Unfortunately, this lady deleted her YouTube channel, but I could have shared it with you so that you can watch that story. This lady had a sister who was working, I think, in Germany as an au pair. So after talking to the sister, the sister was like, just go on Google and search for au pair.com. Then join, start searching for a host family. She did, guys. This lady is from Zambia, but I think was based in South Africa. So she did and eventually, yes, found a host family here in Italy. That's when she came to Italy. Right now, her life has changed and she no longer does au pair, has established herself very, very well. But where did all that start? It started on Google, you know? She never like looked for someone, sent money to someone to help her get an au pair job. <laughs> In Italy, no, she didn't do that. It tells us the host family, I think, paid for her ticket, but she paid for her own visa. They sent her all the documents and everything. So please, please, I repeat, if you want to change your life, you want to look for a job, then don't use the little money that you have, you know, to give it to these stupid people that are ready. To scam all the money that you have, look for information, talk to people. If there are people who always respond to you, you know, when you write to them on uh, Instagram, you know, just to find out some information doing your research, then ask people if they know anything like that. Who knows? Someone might give you a very good idea, but let us not be very, very naive to an extent of trusting people just like that. Recently, there is this scammer that wanted to scam a lady and was telling her there is a job in Italy. They are being paid a hundred euros per day just to work in a clothing shop whereby I've been in Italy, I know how much someone who works in a clothing shop, <laughs> if it is not, you know, those Gucci, Versace stores, no, just a normal clothing shop, how much they're paid per day. 
and you're coming here saying they're paid a hundred euros you know <laughs> so he was telling this lady that i'm going to help you get that job and i know where he's going to he's gonna eventually tell her you have to put in some money so that they can scam her but it won't happen i'm here <laughs> so guys i thought of telling you this and again i'm still with you guys that are in uae you are there working so hard and people start telling you that there is a business you need to invest in you know maybe back home <laughs> and you start putting in your money don't do that unless you are there and you see this is the business not these marketing business wherever's don't don't trust anyone when it comes to your money i'm really really tired of all these stories yes because it hurts me so guys <laughs> for today i am done i've got lots of things to talk with you but today let us end it here let me hope you enjoyed this video let me hope it inspired you in one way or another you know <laughs> And let us meet very, very soon. I just pray that I recover soon because I've got lots of stories, guys. Very, very good stories that you will learn from to tell you. But like this, no, I can't. <laughs> so thank you so much, guys, for watching till now. Be blessed. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. They are super, super good. Comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. And if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please join the family and thank you for subscribing. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.